In this video, Ask F5 shows you how to configure the cipher strength for a big IP SSL profile. There are two ways to configure cipher strength on the big IP system. You can configure cipher rules and groups. We can configure a raw cipher string. This video shows you how to configure a raw cipher string for the SSL profile. For information about configuring cipher rules and groups, refer to these articles linked below. The Big IP SSL profile specifies which cipher groups and suites the system uses to negotiate new SSL connections. This is specified in the profile settings in the form of a cipher string. The cipher string contains one or more entries, with entries separated by a colon. The entries can take several different forms, such as a single cipher suite, an algorithm, a supported TLS version, or an open SSL special string. It may also be a combination connected with a plus sign, which causes the system to select cipher suites that use both. While F5 recommends using the default SSL ciphers provided by the SSL profiles, you can modify the SSL profile cipher settings to make the big IP system's SSL connectivity more or less permissive if your situation requires it. Note that when you configure a raw cipher string in the SSL profile, F5 recommends appending the cipher suites to the default cipher string. Before you attempt to modify these settings, you should be familiar with the open SSL cipher list format commands and options, which the Big IP system uses in its SSL profiles. This demo shows some of the common formats, but does not go into detail regarding the available open SSL list format commands and options. For more information on that, refer to these articles linked below. To modify big IP SSL profile ciphers using a raw cipher string, log into the configuration utility, go to local traffic, profiles, SSL. These instructions apply to both client and server profiles. You can select create to create a new profile or select the name of an existing profile to edit it. If it's new profile, give it a name. Set configuration to advanced. For ciphers, select the custom checkbox so that you can modify the settings. Select the cipher suites option if it isn't already selected. Note that you can also create custom cipher suites. To learn how to do that, refer to this article linked below. To configure the SSL profile to include a specific SSL cipher, enter it. For example, to enable only Camellia ciphers, you'd enter Camellia. To configure the SSL profile to use ciphers for a specific protocol, enter the protocol name. For example, to use only the TLS 1.2 protocol ciphers, you'd enter TLS v1 underscore 2. To configure the SSL profile to block a specific cipher, use an exclamation mark before the cipher. For example, this string allows all of the OpenSSL default ciphers for the SSL profile, but blocks the AES-128SHA cipher. You can also enter OpenSSL strings. For example, this string sorts the cipher list in the order of encryption algorithm key length. To configure the SSL profile to block a specific SSL version, you would use an exclamation mark before the TLS profile. To configure the SSL profile to block a specific SSL protocol, for options, select the custom checkbox so that you can modify the settings. Select an available blocking option from the available options list and select enable to move it to the enabled options list. This list represents all of the protocols or conditions that the system refuses. That's it. If you have other questions you'd like to see answered on this channel, send us an email or comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.